Hi, my name is Shivda, and today we're going to look at an, an interesting problem dealing with linked lists. Uh, and the problem is to detect whether there's a loop in a linked list. In other words, a circle in a linked list. So what is a linked list? It's a data structure with nodes, which have data types called nodes, which you know may contain a value of whatever type, and a pointer to another node. So a linked list really looks like this. You know, a starting node, which points to the next node, blah, 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 and the end node responds to a node. Now, a loop is something when you see something like this. But this is not allowed because this already has a next pointer to this, right? And a node can't have two pointers. So what a loop really means is that the last node, which is the only node that doesn't have a pointer, points back to one of those previous nodes. And let's just add another node for good measure. So this is our linked list. And the question is, how do you determine you know, whether that last node is pointing back to something else? In other words, whether you have a loop. So now, if, this is a common interview question. If you haven't heard of this before now, it would be a great time to pause the video and think about it. All right, so you may think that like one of the first ideas that may come into your mind is that you, know, you keep track of a node, and if you ever get back to that node, then you've got a loop, right? Makes sense. Like, I'm going to keep track of this node. I'm here, and I, I keep going forward and forward and forward, and ultimately I'll get back to this loop. There's a, uh, this back to this node, and there's a loop. Now, the problem with that is, what if you took this node, right? you would actually never get back to that node because you go here, here, and then you keep going in this loop. But you never get back to this node. So how do you choose that node, right? So that doesn't really work. You have to be a little cleverer than that. Good time to pause the video again and think about it. It's not too hard, but a, sl a slight variation on that idea. Basically, the idea is to have two pointers, one that moves at some multiple uh, pace of the other. So say you have one pointer, which basically goes from node to node to node to node to node to node to node. It takes one step every time. And you have another pointer that takes two steps every time. It goes from this node to 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 this node. Now the idea here is that run those two pointers. And if they ever meet, in other words, if they're ever pointing to the same node at the same time, then there is a loop, right? Now, you may ask, what if, um, what if you know, I've been going on and on and on and they don't meet? How, how do I kind of decide whether, does that mean, if they don't meet, right, does that mean there's no loop? And when do I decide that? Well, the answer is if there was no loop, right, eventually you'd get to the end of the linked list and you, the next point would be null, so you'd ultimately get a null node. So if you get a null, right, if this didn't have a loop pointing here, it's next would point to null, to nothing. If, if that was the case, then you have a, a single, um, a, you know, a linear link list, the no loop. But if, um, if they did meet before you got a null, then there is a, there's a loop. Now let's try and convince ourselves that, um, you know, that a loop means that those two will meet. Say you have the pointer moving at speed 2, and, and, that'll, and that, they will meet whether the loop is of even size, meaning it has an even number of nodes, or odd size, has an odd number of nodes, as is the case here. Um, let's look at that as follows. Supposing you have the two node going at speed 2, the one node goes at speed 1. The two node goes at speed 2, the one node goes at speed 1. The two node goes at speed 2, and here they meet. Bang. Now let's say the loop was a little different, right? It took into account one more node. So the loop, rather than ending at this node, now goes all the way here. So there are really four loop nodes in the loop, and it's an even cycle, so to speak. Now the, one no the two node goes here, the one node goes here, the two node goes here, the one node goes here, Two node goes here. Notice last time they had met, but this time the one node is here. The one node goes here. And this time, the two node goes here. So again, they meet at this point. It's one step delayed, uh, as in the previous example, but using the simple example, you can see how they really will eventually meet whether the loop is of even or 
or outside. So this is a ni nice little neat idea, very common interview question, um, to, to, to detect a loop in a linked list. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.